Hey Ravens fans, I am happy right now to introduce the newest member of the Ravens, Marlon Humphrey, and also we're glad to be joined by his parents, Barbara and Bobby. So thanks for joining me today, guys. I'll start with you, Marlon. How exciting have the last 24 hours been since getting that phone call from Ozzie Newsom? Um, it's been very exciting. Um, this is a dream come true. You know, you, you think about this moment when you're, when you're young and for it to finally come true just was a, was a tremendous moment. You know, we've seen the video now of you getting the call. It was obviously so emotional for you. Your sister did a great job with the video, by the way. I want to ask you, Bobby, what was going through your mind? I mean, we saw you fist pumping. You were fired up. What was going through your mind as you saw your son on the phone? Oh, I was so excited for him. And uh, I just knew that we were going to a great organization because that's all I wanted for him is to get drafted and to be able to go to an organization that I felt that he would fit in, that would be a great organization. So I was excited about that. And I really didn't, I really didn't know what else to do at the time. It was just one of those emotional moments where I was doing the fist pumping. <laughs> it just caught me by surprise. Yeah. Barbara, when I brought up the phone call, I could see you light up, you know, a smile across your face. How proud are you of your son today? Oh, I'm so proud. Uh, of course, mom has seen all the struggles, the hard work, and for him to reach a goal that he set, I'm, I'm delighted. You know, anytime your children do something of, of what they love and so you're like okay I want this to happen for them if I could make it happen of course I'd do it but when they make it happen it's also special. Your family I mean all of you guys are athletes you know football track your siblings are athletes who's the best athlete in the family who's who, so, who is it? <laughs> well a few years ago Marlon gave me credit and he's still okay he's still giving me credit today right? Right? I, don't, right? I don't recall I, I can't recall, I can't recall. <laughs> <laughs> you brought up during your press conference today that, that about how competitive it is. You know, someone asked you about pressure. You said, I've been dealing with pressure my entire life. The family is pressure. <laughs> Who's the most competitive in the family? It's got to be me. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I, think that, I think it's me. De definitely me. Definitely me. Bobby, you know, when you have your son go to the same college that you went to, you know, you were asked about the pressure that you feel. But I'm curious from you, were you at all nervous to know that he had to kind of follow in the big shoes that you left there in your shadow? Did that go through your mind at all? Well, you know, not really. Uh, but I, what I always wanted to protect, I wanted to protect uh, all of my kids from having to have to deal with the things that I had accomplished in the career that I had, both at the NFL level and, and also at the University of Alabama. And, and the way my wife and I went about doing that is trying to make sure uh, that they got the credit for the things that they had achieved and not that their dad would be the focus point and their mother would be the focus point. And, and those are the things that, I, I, that we work really hard on trying to uh, uh, create and avoid for them to have to go through because, you know, you think about it, you know, you go down to the University of Alabama, you know, I got a few pictures and a few paintings up there and a few things that I accomplished and, and, uh, and those things are still being talked about. And I, and I didn't want that to be a distraction to Marlon. I thought Marlon handled it very, very well uh, when he went down there. He wanted to, you know, kind of like pavers and, and write his own strip. And he did a great job of doing that. And he was more focused on, you know, achieving the goals that he had set out uh, versus trying to outdo what dad has done. And the outside pressure sometimes are those ones who remember me when I was there and know the things that I did when I was there. But I wanted people to, to just give credit to Marlon while he's there. And I think that happened very well. So along those lines, did you, did that motivate you seeing the success that, that your entire family had, that your mom had, that your dad had, that you said, well, shoot, I better, you know, pick it up because, you know, everybody else in my family is doing such a great job. Did that drive you? Um, I don't, I don't know if it really drove me. I kind of had already had, it kind of seemed like everything they were doing kind of warmed my goal. So it kind of just helped, you know, having a big brother, um, you know, get that scholarship, go play SEC football. That was one of the things I wanted to be like, that's one of the things I wanted to do. I wanted to play SEC ball. Um, so kind of having a brother, uh, mom and dad, sister getting scholarship, everybody just kind of seemed like it was a standard almost. So it kind of didn't really make me embrace it, but it kind of just seemed like just it just was the next thing. Barbara, how would you say, how big of a role does sports play in your entire family's life? I mean, it just seems like it's at this focal point of everything you do, whether you're a kid and you're going to your brother's football games or track meets or whatever it is. It just seems like sports is at the center of everything you guys do. Well, the number one thing I have to say, it was God ability that was given to you know the entire family. But of course, a lot of people can tell you, if you're able to do sports, if I can show you someone successful in sports, I can show you someone successful in life. 
because sports teach so many things of how to mold you, how to work with others, how to you know never give up. So it's kind of like life lessons and we just did it through sports. So it's worked out <laughs> pretty good. So if I'm understanding it correctly, Dad, you were the one that said don't play running back. Is that correct? Or Marlon, you wanted to play running back and your dad said? Well, I actually needed him to play running back when he was in sixth grade. Oh, you were grade. the coach? Yeah, I was the coach. <laughs> you said, I need you on my side? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah no, but when he got to middle school, then that's when I started <laughs> prepping him from, you know, moving from running back to defensive back. Because what I saw in sixth grade was that I saw a young man who was very instinctive and very aggressive and loved to hit. So I thought that needed to be on the defense side of the ball. So I started prepping him in seventh grade, hoping he would move when he got to eighth grade, but he didn't because he did not want to move from running back to defensive back. He wanted to score touchdowns. <laughs> right, everyone wants to score <laughs> touchdowns, right? <laughs> so I challenged him by saying, well, if you get an interception and score a touchdown, you actually got two credit. You get credit for two things and one play. And he was like, yeah, that does sound pretty cool, Dad. So it took me two years working on him moving to a uh, cornerback, and he moved when he went to the ninth grade, when he went to high school. Is that what really did it? I mean, what was it that ultimately made you want to say, okay, is what I want to hit people? Is it, hey, maybe I'll get double credit here. Like, what made you want to make that switch? Well, him and also my eighth grade year, I, I didn't start at uh, running back. I didn't start anywhere. So kind of that, just being on the sidelines, not playing a running back, I'm like, do I want to do this running? Am I, I'm like, am I not good enough to play running back? So uh, then it kind of just that, and along with that, um, what my dad would tell me, it kind of just made the switch pretty easy. So, so Marlon, what I understand was dad was 15, pick 15. You were 16. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess he got me there. He definitely got me there. It, for you, it, for you, as you're in this moment and you're just enjoying this time with your family and being able to come here and make that jump to the NFL, like what do you want your kind of, you, not to think about too far in advance, but what do you want to accomplish? Like what are your goals when you get to this stage? Um, I want to win a Super Bowl and I want to play in a Pro Bowl. Um, I think most Pro Bowls are from teams that win. So I think um, we get the team win around here, win some Super Bowls, you know, I think the Pro Bowl's near. So mm -hmm. those are my two goals coming to the NFL, um, Pro Bowl and uh, win a Super Bowl. And mom, I'll give you the last word. What are you most excited to see your son do at the NFL level? Oh my goodness. Well, actually, <clears throat> when I've watched Marlon set all his goals and then we check them off, well, I haven't had a chance to talk to him about what goals he wants, you know, as far as you want to start or you want to, you know, what, what's your timeline? What's all that? Um, I just want him to keep enjoying the game, keep the hard work, and all the rest will come, you know? Once you just do what you do, and the rest will come. And I think he'll do that. Well, thank It'd you. Be great. <laughs> yeah, well, we're excited to see that happen. So thank you so much for your time. We are all very excited to have all three of you here in Baltimore. Yes, we're excited. Thank you so much. We're excited, we're excited as well. Yes.